Thank you very much for having me. I am just thrilled and delighted to be here and delighted to be able to join with you in this conversation about what big data can do to energize the economy, to shape society, and to enable us to take into our own hands our future. It is tempting to think of big data in terms of its size. Big data has defining qualities. Let me explain first more. More means that we can analyze and collect far more data relative to a particular question about a particular problem. The second quality, addition to more, is messy. That means that in the big data age, we can embrace messiness. More and messy together are the foundation of a third and most important quality of big data. It is the power of correlations. Render ever more aspects of our human existence into data format, which in the book we call datafication. We have successfully datafied location. Our smartphones now know where we are. I remember in the 1990s when I would drive with my then girlfriend into a new city and she would have the map on her lap and I would say, turn left or right. She would say, uh, um, uh, uh, uh. It was the beginning of the end of many relationships. <laughs> if you take anything away from my talk today, take away that the core economic point about big data is that the value of data lies in reusing it as often as possible. I hope you agree with me, will help us understand the world around us better. It will improve how we make decisions, but it also brings up new challenges and new dangers. What is essential is that we harness this powerful technology. If you want to know more about Duolingo and how big data revolutionizes education learning, watch out for my new book called Learning with Big Data. Thank you.